What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And right now we're going to be talking about Drake London. A lot of you guys that were watching the draft live, you were trying to figure out what are the best possible cards uh, to go after. There are a few players uh, that are really, really good, but he obviously is going to strike our interest, right? Because he's 6'5", he has a 99 jump, and he just has everything that we need in a mossing offense to go out there and do whatever we want. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you guys really quickly. I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the numbers that we got um, you know, over at G Myers World Gaming. You guys can check out the full games uh, that we played over on uh, Twitch. But he went crazy. He had over 400 yards. I'll show you guys that stuff in a second. I'll also show you some of the plays that he's made. But this is the thing, right? The Falcons now have two 99 big dudes that you can run around with and just do whatever you want. Kyle Pitts is a 99 speed on the Falcons. And then this guy obviously gets the additional two. And he's also a 99 speed. Uh, as long as you have the strat cards, right? So that's two big boys that's running around doing whatever they want. Um, but I will tell you this, Kyle Pitts at wide receiver, uh, he did let me down a lot. So I had to go back and get Calvin. But this guy is pretty, pretty good, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at, I'm going to go over here and pull up my um, my gallery right quick. So you guys, I just kept some of the things that was going on with them to give you guys some insight. If you guys follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, you know, uh, in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and obviously Twitter. Twitch at G Myers World, you'll be able to see this stuff live. But right here, this is just one of the plays uh, where it's just like, yo, welcome, you know, to the NFL, bro. Like, just go for six. Like, you see those type of animations. A lot of you guys haven't figured out yet how to get the animations that I'm getting. And he actually triggers the animation because he has that 99 jump stock. So that's him. Like he, and plus he, although he's like a little bit lighter, uh, he looks bigger in the game. Now, let's just throw him on a crosser route, see how he runs it. You see how he speeds up at the end, and then look, he's strong enough, you know, to truck Ronnie Lott. That's a full maxed out Ronnie Lott with Night Train. He just trucks them like a man. So he has that physical, um, you know, buildup where he's ready to go. It's not like he's soft and he, like Randy Moss in this game, like he doesn't play like a man, dog. Like the dude just runs around and he's like really, really weak. Um, you know, during that game right here, he had 470 yards, six touchdowns. So that's pretty much um, what was going on with him there. Uh, he did have the two drops, but like I said, we're just sitting out there throwing moss action. That's all we're pretty much doing. So that's something that I wanted to show you guys, make sure you understand. Um, he is battle tested. Like we went out there, we put some plays in and the dude went crazy and it is what it is. You know, so if you're looking to get him and he's not on a theme team, he is going to be like this. Uh, for those of you guys that are asking about like, yo, gee, what about Mike Evans? Um, the thing about Mike Evans, a, a lot of what EA does, EA has never really shown Mike Evans a lot of love. I don't know if there's somebody there that just doesn't like him. I think there's a lot of guys that are Bucks fans, but you know, I, I don't I don't know what's going on with that particularly, um, with the way that works, but yeah, it's kind of wild. We're gonna take a look at that in a second, but I wanted to show you guys uh, pretty much how I got him dirt cheap. So what happened was this, right? When you go to complete the sets, you go over to the draft night sets, uh, he was the eighth pick, uh, Drake London, right? You can get these other cards, the 95s relatively cheaply, or you know, I got lucky and got him out of a pack. Like 195, so I ended up spending like 120 for his card because I went the set route. Uh, depending on when you try to get the card, he could be you know cheaper or more expensive. But this is probably going to be the cheapest way to do it because a lot of uh, people are pulling a lot of 95s also out of the rerolls that are inside of the store. So you don't, it's nothing like that. It, it's not really really crazy um, as far as how it works out. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much, guys, um, with the way that that's going right now. Also, the mock draft I just went over there. They still haven't updated it. I guess they're going to need some time to like kind of update it. I haven't even checked how many I got right. It was a crazy, crazy day. Obviously, you guys know the draft nights is wild. So it just, it, people don't, I, like I said, you don't know where anybody's going. And it's really, really weird. You know, like everything else that goes on with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick, right? I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring up Mike Evans and give you guys an idea of what's going on. Because that was brought up. And a lot of you guys are like, yo, yo, G, Mike Evans is better than him, right? So let's take a look at Mike Evans. He got one of those what are those, those champion cards later in the year, right? That was going for ridiculous money. Then it went right down. Like he's at like 392. All right. So look, let's take a look at what he brings to the table. He's heavier. Same height. You see his jump when you power him up goes to 99, right? So it should, because it's a power up, it should be a full 99 jump. His spec catch also goes to a 99. That's all good and well. His deep route, short route, mid route, all that stuff is good. Like, he, he looks like he's stronger, all that good stuff. But the bottom line is he's not, like, if you get him, right, just just hear me out. If, if you're going to get a player right now and 
You have to put all that stuff into him to get him to a 96 speed. Then you can use your strat cards, all that stuff. But you got to actually power him up to get all that stuff, which means it's going to cost you, right? Then he's more expensive than the card that you're getting. So you have to kind of figure, like, all right, do I want to go through all this? Do I want to power him up? Or you can just keep his card and just let him go because uh, he, he's a very, very similar uh, stature and size to uh, the other player who we're talking about, which is Drake London. But it's something about the way that when EA puts out a new card, when he when he probably came out first, like, you know, a month ago, whenever they dropped this content, because I knew it was delayed, whatever it was, right? He was probably playing the way that Drake London is playing right now. Now, just remember this, though. Ed Two Tall Jones is also really good, and they haven't really nerfed them. So there is a chance, right? There is a chance that these cards will be able to outlast a lot of the other things that are going on. But some of you guys did bring it up. Like, specifically, like, yo, gee, if you're going to do that, why don't you do this? Another thing about the physical receivers, and I keep trying to drill this into you guys, that, too, for deep out elite is a lot. Like, it, it's just, like, EA, bro. Like, make one of them a deep threat. Like, I don't care. Like, dude, make Calvin Johnson a deep threat, bro. Like, just help me out a little bit. EA's like, no, because they know, they know before it happens what we're going to be looking to do. And that's ultimately what went on. So it's a really, really tough situation, but... I would prefer right now, because the newer card is Drake London, to go with Drake London. Um, you know, some of you guys brought up the new, um, they had new uh, Reduxes, and you guys brought up Claypool and stuff like that. All of these receivers are cool, but Claypool is 6'4". So you have to understand that. Like, when you're looking at the ability to be able to moss a dude into Oblivion, 6'5 is the minimum that I would say you should probably lab or start with that situation. All right? Because it, it does start to become... A little bit more involved with it and you don't want to have to actually you know you want to keep the advantage of being able to jump and that's what like that's what makes it so exciting about this card because you don't have to power him up and he's doing all of that already you know when you when you start spending training right now especially with the fact that we're trying to hold on to everything we can get um you know a lot of things are going to be happening over the next couple of weeks golden tickets stuff like that it's going to get a little bit more complex you know what cards are we raid selling what cards are we keeping things of that nature you don't want to spend anything that you don't need to you know we just looked at mike evans he was an 81 strength he has a better deep route running when powered up all that stuff but they're pretty much going to play the same with the exception that drake is you know drake drake is a little bit uh you know newer card he just dropped on draft night so they'll give him a little bit more ex extravagant you know type of animations but i'm not saying that mike evans is a bad card i'm just saying look guys if you don't have a buck theme team and you don't have a falcon theme team right now drake london's the guy like he just does whatever he wants and it's really really obvious that ea wants them to play like that now there are other players like i said there's other draft players the number one draft pick is just straight bum juice though like they gave him like an 85 speed it was straight awfulness uh, that was being poured out uh, at EA Sports last night. But again, it doesn't really matter. We, As we go along, I'm going to be testing out a few more uh, to kind of let you guys know what's up. I know that 6'4 safety uh, that the Ravens got, uh, you know, they should also uh, be pretty, be, you know, be pretty good. He should also be pretty good. But again, with the way that everything is, um, you know, starting from the top, you know, and going down, you're going to have to be a little bit more careful. Now, some of the corners, you know, pretty good stuff, but the... These right ends and left ends and stuff like that, like it's very disappointing that EA actually gave you know this guy the numbers that they gave him. Uh, Trayvon Walker, like e even with the you know his 40 time and everything, it's a really really bad card overall. Uh, all the block shit and the power move and all that stuff doesn't matter in this game. So unfortunately, if you're a Jags theme team, you're not going to really get a lot out of it. I just wanted to touch base on that. It just it, it he's his card is just not as good as it should have been as the number. They should have boosted him up crazy. Because he's the number one pick, in my opinion. So we're going to go through all of it. Um, and uh, a lot of the players were obviously uh, left ends, right ends, stuff like that. So, you know, if you see any card that you think that we should add to the squad or something that you're like, yo, GMI, this card's sick, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Let me know all about it. And we'll pretty much go from there. Other than that, I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Hopefully you enjoy your day. Until next time. One love, y'all.